everybody, my name is Dav Joker here, and welcome here to our first Roblox scripting tutorial on gaming on gaming gears. So this is our first video also. So I hope you guys enjoy up this. Uh that's because I'm going to be like a scripting tutorial, so we're gonna teach you everyone how to use Lua on Roblox. Um uh, just a scripting that other people say that. So, scripting, it's pretty sure like then you're gonna start, uh, scripting is just like a programming, but um, your users is powered with Lua, a type of programming, uh, and it's super easy to use, and is a type, is a nice, is an also a nice type of technology, programming I mean, <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, it's pretty sure like that. So I'm gonna learn about now about um, I'm gonna use a common bar. So I'm gonna learn you all about the common bar. So if you don't have it up, you need to go to view, and then you're gonna tick this up, this tick command bar. So we're gonna play it up. Uh, I'm gonna go for an example. Uh, I want to insert and just not insert, just to remove a part. For an example, the head uh, of our player. So what are we going to do? So we're going to do. Uh, we're going to click at at the, at the bar, common bar. Um, for example, if you made a notice of this, have this exploder. The recurrence we need to use is going to be the properties and the exploder. If you don't have it up, you just go ahead and look at view, and then take take exploder and take properties. So yeah. Um. It's pretty sure look like that. If you go to Explorer, they have a lot of things like the workspace, the players, the lighting, and a lot of one this one. Also, the most you know, the most used one, the workspace. In case you don't know, it's just pretty sure look like the the wall thing, just um like the players and this part here, and also the base place. So this is where the workspace, whatever single part you're going to insert, or just a script, is going to be at the workspace. Or you can insert a local script about in storage wise. You can insert whatever part. But if you insert a break or something, it can be show it on the workspace. So it's just like um you know, on this brick here. It's just in case of this brick. That's called it Bob. So he's Bob. He, he, Alright then, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the common bar. The common bar also is also powered with um with Lua too. Lua too. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it up again and we're going to do for example want to remove the head that I was talking about it. So you may even notice if you open it up, like look at this arrow here. You got to see terrain, camera, the player, the base player, and a bob. So so there's bob here. So, we're going to, for an example, we're going to, I want to remove it up. So, if we go here in the hat in the player, you got to see have a lot of things that have also some scripts also. But, I see the hat here up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the common bar just for now. Now, I mean, we're going to use it now. So, for example, if I use delete like that, delete add that that is inside the player player that is inside the workspace. Is that not correct? Why? That's because this is not acceptable. We don't use the normal language on Lua. So, um, what is this case? That is inside thing, inside the, and is that is inside the player's things. We just put dot. So let's try again. Let's do it on. So we're going to do delete. I'm going to do, but it's an opposite one. And also, you forgot the thing that's the game, but it's not showing at the exporter. That's because the game is the exporter. So when, but in Lua and scripting is just the game. 
So every single disc is just like the childs of the game. That's just the explorer. Um, and the Bob is a child of the workspace. And the parent of the Bob is the workspace. Like the same thing is at the player. So, and the, also the Karen and the terrain. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do like game dot workspace dot player dot head and then delete that's that is still wrong why that's because we don't pronounce events using dots we use this to pronounce events and it's not even delete and then we also do this at the, at the, at the end it's not delete it's just destroy so here we go let's let's press enter and see it deletes up it's deleting up and was we wanted so yeah so we should look like that um so workspace a child of the game and the parent of the workspace is the game and yeah it's just the same things with the other phones things but this is just a type of event so it's not he don't have parent he's just look like what he would do with here with him that's the head so let's go um so let's stop it up and let's start making up so let's now start scripting so well Bob we're going to script you now so what are going we're going to do we're going to model or just search script here clicking here but you can also s right click here and insert an object and then you're going to script and here we go now what are we going to do is now we're just going to search the local i mean we're going to do local uh brick brick equals script dot parent so why does you just put script here I'm gonna go zoom in out if you guys can see up. So you guys can see up. I mean. So um, script is just a wall thing here. So it's just the script here. Now oh, you also need to be inside the bottom. So um, so you're going to be a script of parent. The parent of the of the script is just the bottom. So yeah, Bob. Now we have a child. <laughs> All right then. Now what are we going to do? Is going to do a function. We're going to do. We're going to use now direct functions. We're going to use direct functions. For example, I'm going to do brick toad connect function. So it's pretty sure like that. So I have the brick that he got touched. There's one event. That's gonna do the f the thing that just connect. Then you're gonna do a function. That is the type of a direct function. And then I need to have this at the end, next to the end. So what are we going to do now? We're going to do the function. So we're going to do brick dot brick color equals. Uh, it's not instance. It's brick color. No. Then we're going to do um really red. So what I did here, I just put a brick, the brick color. That's just a member of the properties appearance, and just brick color the new. This thing is going to make a new color, and then I'm going to have the name here. Uh, just a really red. So it's a, it's a type of a color. So we're going to do wait. I'm going to do wait one second. I'm going to do brick. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go copy this. Copy this ahead. And then I'm going to paste this. So I'm going to just change it up. So I'm going to do um, camel. <laughs> It's just a type of green. So let's test it up. Alright, so here we go. Um well this next oh here, here we go. Um 
So then it touches the wind one second and then it goes back to the normal color of the bob. So here we go. Yeah, it's pretty sure it looks like that. So this is just uh, a type of, an, of a function. Uh, this is just a type of event on the part. So it's pretty sure it looks like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Uh, this is just going. You guys are going to help a lot of if you subscribe and like also this video, uh, and also share to your friends. Uh, you if you if you like this type of learning, I feel like to if you don't know even know Roblox, you can try to play it up for free on Roblox.com. So yeah, um, so that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and yeah, see you all later.